Social Blitz with J.D. Rucker and Aaron Ryan. Go! TechCrunch reports that MySpace acquired iMeme. For those who don't know what iMeme is, you're not alone. Also from TechCrunch, Facebook cufflinks ask you to F me. The Facebook me cufflinks are $50 and feature, yes, the Facebook logo on them. One cufflink features the Facebook F, the other reads me. Classy. Mashable brings the first and hopefully last bit of social media related Twilight news. New Moon webcast breaks a record with 300 million viewers. MySpace just released their data, and as it turns out, the stream garnered over 2 million uniques and almost 3 million total viewers. With that said, we promise to never speak about Twilight on Social Blade ever again. Mashable reports in a study that most Fortune 500 companies don't get Twitter. In related news, anyone looking for rich old people can find them on AOL. According to allfacebook.com, girls are sneaking away and getting their fix from a different source. The good news is that it isn't drugs that are pulling their attention. Facebook seems to be the big pull for female teens. Anything that keeps them off of drugs, or MySpace, is a true service to society. Mashable reveals that President Barack Obama doesn't tweet. In fact, he's never tweeted, despite having 2.6 million people following his verified account. Social Blade has uncovered that John McCain is the only member of the Republican Party that actually does use Twitter. Unfortunately, he's never been able to make a point in 140 characters. Canada wins. Facebook implements a new privacy policy. At the end of October, Facebook announced that it was revamping its privacy policy. The change sparked by the intervention of the Canadian government, simplified the new policy, stripped the legal jargon, and put the document up for a comment period by the Facebook community. A Facebook spokesman apologized for the oversight, stating that they now acknowledge that Canada is a real-life country. Social Blitz with J.D. Rucker and Aaron Ryan gone! (laughs) 